Hello and welcome back to Marky Mark Reviews. This is part nine of my long-term Hyundai Ionic 5 ownership review. This is going to be one of my final uh, reviews for the charging process. Uh, this is me leaving home with 100%. Uh, high ambient temperatures today, early Sunday morning, and this was a very fast drive to Ionity Chippenham on the M4. As you can see, 136 miles or so in two hours, making the average around 68 miles an hour, uh, simply because it's empty early morning on a Sunday. I think it's always good if you try and do data like this, you try and keep it to the same charger. So I reached with around 30%, uh, 29% by the time I plugged in. Normally it's around 40 to 45% when I get here. And then this is me plugging in. Now obviously the battery's had a hammering, so because the ambient temperature was pretty high, 18, and also it was a very fast um, high speed cruise. Two minutes in, already up to 35%, still maintaining 185 uh, kilowatts, and now up to 220 kilowatts uh, rate of charge. Uh, five and a bit minutes, already up to 47%. And now I was going to see whether there is a theoretical maximum for these cars at the moment, limited to around 237 kilowatts. So I was waiting to see how far this could climb. So it was nice to see over 220 kilowatts and it was still 50% uh, state of charge. You don't have to see these massive charging speeds from a very low state of charge. That's what's so impressive about the uh, Hyundai and Kia charging profiles at the moment. Only far more expensive cars seem to be able to charge as well as this. So we're yeah, just seven minutes in, and then, yep, this was going to be as fast as it was going to get, 224, 225 kilowatts, which is fantastic. And already, <laughs> you know, after just a few minutes, uh, approaching 60% charge. So then I was quite pleased with this. But then as you can see now, it, you get a rapid drop in the charge rate. And this is due to the BMS or battery management system trying to protect the battery. Obviously, because it was a very warm day, because it was a very warm battery by the time I arrived, it's just trying to protect the battery by reducing the rate, reducing the heat buildup, essentially it kind of stays at around uh, this 120 kilowatt uh, rate of charge for two or three minutes which is still impressive but obviously it would have been better if it stayed at uh, uh, above 200 kilowatts further 12 percent taken on so about over 70 uh, 71 percent and at 75 percent um yeah the fans come on which you can hear the fan i mean the the front bumper vents are open and they're always open when you start to charge but now you get the uh, automatic cooling but this seems to occur quite late but because the cooling's on the charge rate then uh, is able to go up as the battery cools enough it's a little bit disjointed but here we go 150 kilowatts as it's approaching 80 percent uh, charge which is fantastic and i was already planning to unplug at 80 81 percent and then you'll notice a new thing when the battery is very hot and in very hot conditions the rate of charge will drop again quite dramatically it essentially almost comes to a standstill again um, the car and the charger communicating with each other to protect the battery so you can see now almost 150 kilowatt drop in, in essence and now if i was going to unplug now but normally this this little pause in the charging curve can take two to three minutes and then the charge rate will increase again but not at those massive uh, rates it tends to stay under 100 kilowatts above 90 percent or so 85 percent it's uh, under 100 kilowatts but even taking all that into account this is a very uh, fast charge uh, and even if you didn't have these pauses and even from an even lower state of charge we're still talking about two to three maybe four minutes extra charging to get to 80 percent so they have a claim that Hyundai from the beginning to say that this car can charge from 0 to 80% in 18 minutes and it can do that without a doubt but it's a very narrow um, window when it can do that.
So not as fast as it could have been and not as fast as it should be. Uh, because of this narrow window of optimum charging, which just going to wait for this software update that Hyundai are going to release. But from the data I've done so far at cold temperatures, you tend to see maximums of 67 to 70 kilowatts, moderate temperatures, uh, a little bit faster, and then 20 degrees, 166, 7 to 7, 170 kilowatts. And it's only at a or even warmer temperatures you get the 200 uh, kilowatt sustained speeds of charging. I'll update this review once Hyundai release the preconditioning software update, but this will only be available on EcoPack equipped cars that have been sold already or all new cars from the present year. But if you like this uh, short review, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, please subscribe. Bye for now.